you're not attractive to me. B, I feel like I'm way smarter than you and you are 30 years older than me. And C, you're ugly. So. Hey, I wanted to show you all of the outfits that I've handmade over the years. Recently, I'm diving into it a little bit more because I'm clearer on what I want my goals to be and I really want to be good at making clothes and maybe come out with a clothing line but I'd really like to show you what I've made. I, ha I didn't make this, this is just a store-bought um, piece of clothing but I think yeah I'm gonna talk to the camera, drink some coffee, and show you all the clothes that I've made. Maybe talk about the raw emotions that I've been feeling but cannot purge until there is what I deem worthy an audience in front of me. Uh, Capricorn moon stuff. I don't know. Anyway, I think I'll get into my first um, little outfit and show you what I did. So it's a little... Um, <laughs> peekaboo-ish. But, um, I'll just do this. Basically, this is one of the cutest things I've ever freaking made. Um, it's like a patchwork little dress, like little fairy dress, basically. And I did this, like, a summer or two ago. Um, I really liked it, and then I stopped wearing it because I was embarrassed about how, like, childish I thought it looked. I don't know if that'll be like taken down if it's like too sexy or something. <coughs> yeah, one of the great things about lesbians is uh, you're kind of shunned. Everyone kind of hates you even though they don't know it. Um, I went through a, a period of time where you just have to like deconstruct the mainstream media, media's like perception of you and like figure out what it means to you um, to be a lesbian because it took a long time for me to just realize that being a lesbian to me is being soft, being feminine, being um, not into guys, being open to changing that definition. I don't know if I like this video. This is beautiful top that I made. Um, I think last summer the summer before um and just like the other top i i hadn't worn it out or anything because i'm just like embarrassed or something it has like buttons on the back it's not the most well-made thing but it's cute i've taken a few photo shoots with it um and i really like this get all of the lace. I think it's so beautiful and makes me feel like a fairy witch sea monster. I guess a big part of like my coming out was trying to fix my relationship with men. I don't know. I I felt like, oh, since I'm a lesbian, like there's like a switch that's turned and they can't hurt me anymore because I don't care, which is very not true human beings can still hurt each other even if you don't like subscribe to that romantic love that they're giving out um it seems like every time that i give them a chance it just doesn't work out i just don't think that i'm meant to be friends with men that were raised on earth in this time like i really don't think that they deserve much, much from me um, and much from the women in their lives unless they like actively do this work. And hey, it's a lot of work. I'm doing the work in other ways and I understand that it's a lot. So like I'm not pushing you to do the work but just stay out of my way is kind of the feeling I've got. Okay. And I'm gonna change and show you another hand I handmade item that I've made with my hands. Okay, this is a really cute top, and I made this as a commission 
for someone um, and they never freaking picked it up. They never freaking gave me the money for it. So I'm kind of pissed about it. But um, it's still available, available for purchase and it's kind of like heavy upper um, chest and smaller torso vibes. Um, it's got like a very cute back. Once you come out, I feel like you look at your friends differently and it's really nerve wracking um, sometimes to wonder like, oh, do I have a crush on my friend? Um, and you just don't know because you're realizing that all of the butterflies that you thought you felt before is just anxiety. So what do the butterflies actually feel like? And do you feel those with your friends? Do you want more from your friends? Like it's, it's a very confusing time. And I think you just have to be super kind to yourself um, because it's not like we have a bunch of like lesbian um, role models or like a legacy. We don't really have that um, because of homophobia. I think it's just really hard to um, hone in on social skills that you were supposed to be taught as a child. Like, the reason why it's so hard for us to comprehend, like, sexuality, don't quote me on this, I'm just talking out of my ass, is because we weren't taught it growing up. Like, you don't think about how you pick up a fork you just do it because you saw other people doing it. And being gay, like being a lesbian, is just behavior that you've never seen before. So it's of course it's gonna be scary and stuff. Give yourself time. Your friends, who are, who are your friends for real, like they're not gonna give you up just because you realize something more about yourself and like deeper about yourself. I think they're gonna love you more for it. Stand like what kind of people just in general, like, you really like being around, like, what kind of jokes do you really like to hear, like, what kind of compliments, compliments do you really like, do you get, like, really nervous when you're talking to this new person, like, it's all about really feeling and getting to know your feelings. I'm kind of in this new space where I'm dating for the first time and, um, it's hard to, it's hard for me to admit that I, I like someone that someone else is like has this effect on me and I also have like a Scorpio Venus and I know that um, I can like deny my feelings a lot until they're like right in my face and then I like jump right in okay so this is a top that I made a couple of years ago um, it's really cute it's just like a kind of chunky um, crochet cottagecore vibes kind of thing and I thought of another really cool thing this is like this weird thing that I made but it's kind of interesting so <laughs> um but yeah when you um are a lesbian I th I feel like you just don't really give a crap about like the unspoken rules that men um, kind of outlined for each other and they outlined for women and it's like have you ever been working in a place where like there's this one man who's in charge and he's just like a freaking idiot and like all the women in the room can tell but they're doing what he says because they're like so used to it and you're just like um question and it like like derails the whole thing because like you're not supposed to be talking when like the big strong man is talking but like i don't give a shit because a you're not attractive to me b i feel like i'm way smarter than you and you are 30 years older than me and c you're ugly so i feel like it really puts people through a loop when you just come out of the bat as like not aggressive a strong lesbian and I feel like it must be like that with most gay people um, I guess my experience is very limited um, and privileged but yeah it's really cool it's kind of like you're an alien coming to earth for the first time and 
there's like these little lizards crawling around and you can just kind of like ugh. but then they like go tell the one lizard that's really important and then you like realize that you can't like vote <laughs> great metaphor but yeah this is this weird kind of thing that i made um Ta -da. and i never finished these but um these were calvin klein pants and i made them into a skirt which i think is really cute it's like super fluffy and i kind of just have to fix up the skirt a little bit but i think they're super cute anyway and this is not minion propaganda, but I did make this, these overall set, um, a little bit ago. And, yeah, I think they're super comfortable. I would definitely wear these, um, somewhere. Like on the airplane? That would be nice. I guess I'm gonna wrap it up. It's probably like 20 minutes. I'm just like, trying to kill time. I don't have a job. I need a job. I want to make money. I don't know. I have this fear of like being tied down. I don't know. I don't know. I feel stuck. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to let the creative juices flow, I guess, for lack of a better word. But I'm going to go now, see if I want to scrap this whole video or maybe I'll just do it because I'm being vulnerable or whatever. Um, anyway, um, yeah, go make your own handmade clothes, it's really fun, and then you could sell them on Etsy and, like, beg people to buy them. Because being an entrepreneur is hard. It's hard work. But, bye!